train overtakes two persons who are walking in the same direction as the train is moving at the rate of 3 km per hour and 6 km per hour and passes them completely in 12 and 14 seconds respectively. So basically there is a train and two persons who are all walking in the same direction as the train is moving. So the two persons and the train are all going in the same direction. What are the speeds of these two persons? 3 km per hour and 6 km per hour. And this train passes them. It is coming from behind, right? It passes them completely in how many seconds? 12 seconds and 14 seconds respectively. He is asking us to find the length and speed of the train. Now, if you have gone through our uh, model on trains that we have covered in time and distance topic, you would know the equations to be used, right? In such cases, what do we do? See, there are two moving bodies, right? And both the bodies are moving in the same direction. So, we can say speed of the first body minus speed of the second body equals to Usually it is length of first body plus length of second body by time. But here the second body is nothing but a person who is walking. So the length is considered to be zero, negligible. So it is only the length of the train. Right? Length of the first body is length of the train. Divide by time. So first body here is train. Second body is the person. You are able to follow. So speed of the train minus speed of the person equals to length of the train by time. This is the equation that needs to be used. Yes or no? S1 minus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 by T. But L2 is equal to zero here. So directly L1 by T. Now substitute, see what happens. So speed of the train minus, in, in case of first person, the speed is 3 kilometers per hour equals to length of the train divided by the time taken is 12 seconds. And the second equation says speed of the train minus the speed of the second person is 6 kilometers per hour. Length of the train is LT, time taken is 14 seconds. Two equations and two unknowns can you solve? Yes. So solve for speed first. So from these two, we can say that 12 into speed of the train minus 3 equals to 14 into speed of the train minus 6. Yes or no? From this LT equals to 12 times ST minus 3. From this LT equals to 14 times ST minus 6. So solve now 14 ST minus 12 ST. So 2 times the speed of the train is equal to uh, 36 minus 36 plus 14 into 6 is 84. 84 minus 36. Right? 48. So we get speed of the train as 24 kilometers per hour. Look at the options. First of all, look at the options. Speed of the train 24 kilometers per hour. Option 1 possible. Option 2 is also possible. Option 3 is anyway possible. Option 4 eliminated. Option 5 eliminated. So I think you'll have to find out the length also to get the exact option. Now that you have got the speed, substitute the speed in either of the options. Either option, I mean either of the cases, either case 1 or case 2. Let us substitute in case 1. So speed of the train 24 minus 3 equals to length of the train by 12. But one problem here is if you see the left hand side 24 minus 3 is in kilometers per hour. On the right hand side we have 12 which is in seconds. And you see the length of the train in the options is given in meters. So basically the length is in meters, time is in seconds here, speed is in kilometers per hour. So you'll have to convert the speed kilometers per hour to meters per second. How do you do? Multiply by 5 by 18. So we'll multiply the left hand side by 5 by 18. Now everything is balanced. Now it is balanced. So solve. What do we get? So 24 minus 3 is 21. This is like uh, 6 into 2, 6 into 3. This goes 7 times. 7 into 5, 35 into 2, 140. So length of the train comes out to be 140 meters. Anyway, calculation is your lookout. You know how to proceed with this one, right? So 140 meters is the answer. Length of the train is 140 meters, which is option 2. Right? So why is that many of you have got the answer as option 1, 70 and 24, we are getting 140 and 24, right? Or did we go wrong somewhere? Just hold on. 21 here, 18 here, this is 2 times and 3 times, 3 goes 7 times, 35 into 2, oh I'm sorry, 35 into 2 is 70. This is very bad, 35 into 2 is 70, I'm sorry about that, 70 meters. Why did I write 140? Sorry. Option 1 will be the answer, 70 meters. Yeah. 